Tyler here with GP Knives, and today we're gonna to talk about bug out bags. Let's jump right in. Today we're gonna to talk about bug out bags, also known as get home bags, emergency preparedness bags, get out of dodge bags, and so forth. What we've got here is my personal pick. This is a Gamut 2.0 from Vertix Gear. As you can see, it's a pretty discreet looking bag. Vertex Gear offers a lot of versatility and organization with some tactical features as well. High quality construction on these bags. And this bag is not at max capacity, but definitely has a lot of capacity while still being compact and discreet for carry and movement. So we're gonna unpack the bag and see what we've got inside. So here we have the full loadout from what we got inside the bag, and we'll start going through some of the details of the items I've got on the table here. So first up, it wouldn't be GP knives without some knives. Of course, this is gonna be supplemental to your everyday carry, as is all the gear in a bug out bag or emergency preparedness bag. So you can choose accordingly. If you carry something, say the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, for your EDC, you can definitely complement that with a fixed blade. Now for emergency situations, I definitely recommend something that's got a full tank construction. We have a few different options here. We have the Garber in stainless steel from Mora. This is a great and relatively budget friendly option. You got a 14C 28N stainless steel blade with a modified Scandi grind. So it's gonna be nice and strong. Very versatile design, a comfortable and ergonomic polymer handle, and you've got that through full tank construction. It also has a 90 degree spine, meaning you can strike a ferro rod for fire starting. And this particular version is their multi-mount sheath version. You may have noticed in the intro that the multi-mount sheath was mounted inside the outer pouch of the bag with the Molly attachment and that multi-mount sheath is very versatile in that it can be mounted inside a vehicle, inside a bag, or it can be carried independently. It also comes with a belt loop, so it can be carried with a belt as well. Next up, we have the Topps Knives Trail Seeker. The Trail Seeker has a 1095 carbon tool steel blade with black traction powder coat, so while the carbon steel does require a little more maintenance to prevent corrosion, that coating is gonna help really well with that. And the carbon steel is very easy to maintain in the field. It's a nice solid full tank construction with a fairly thick spine, a nice utilitarian profile on the blade. We got contoured canvas micarta handle scales with some milling for traction. And this one comes with a kydex sheath with drop belt loop. That is going to be very convenient to carry in that you can carry it on the belt for easy access and that drop loop is going to keep it out of the way. The belt loop can also be removed if you choose to carry it mounted to say the strap of your pack or in some other way. And that brings me to another note, a great piece of kit that is inexpensive and handy to have is just a standard carabiner ring. I've got a snap gate ring here and I use it to carry my Hella knife here on a belt loop. And this allows for easy transition from a belt loop to a pack or to the inside of a jacket or the inside of a pack. So great for fast changes if you need to have your knife easily accessible, but then also need to move it for discretion. And lastly, we've got the Bradford Knives Guardian 3.5 in Vanitas 4E. So this is kind of the high performance premium fixed blade in the line here. Vanitas 4E is exceptionally tough. It's gonna hold an edge really well and still be fairly easy to sharpen. And we've got a black DLC coating on here for corrosion resistance and discrete use. Again, we've got canvas micarta for the handle scales, a nice full 3D contour on there. And this knife 
is just a great mid-sized knife that is going to be capable for a lot of use outside of maybe chopping. You got a horizontal mount leather pouch sheath for carry, and that is going to allow for pretty discreet scout carry on the belt, as well as safe carry inside of a pack. And of course, what would a knife be without a sharp edge? And to maintain that in the field, we have the Work Sharp Pocket Sharpener. So this is a great and simple tool. We've got a coarse diamond on one side and a ceramic rod on the other. So the diamond is going to be used for the primary sharpening and the ceramic used for touch-ups and fine sharpening. And it's got built-in angle guides here on the ends, allowing you to maintain a clean and consistent angle on the knife for consistent sharpening. Very lightweight and rugged construction and just a great simple piece of kit to add to your bag. Next up, navigation. Now, we all have modern means such as GPS of navigating and getting from point A to point B, but in an emergency situation, they may not be available. Map and compass is gonna be a great way to make sure that you can get to where you're going safely. And having detailed maps of your local area and also topographical maps are great additions to any emergency preparedness kit. In addition, Having a compass and being familiar with how to plot a course with the compass is a great skill to hone and maintain. We've got some wayfinding cards here from Learn and Live cards that are a great addition as well as they give you tips and tricks for navigating with map and compass and maintaining your bearings. Having a notebook is also great in terms of navigation as well as for leaving directions for other members of your party if you get lost or separated and we've got a right in the rain notebook here with waterproof paper and a fisher space pen that writes upside down and in extreme weather conditions as well as when wet another thing to consider adding to your pack is food and water so here we have some high calorie food options a protein bar some sardines and a chocolate bar, as well as some natural caffeine, because you may not have the opportunity to sleep and being aware and conscious of your environment is gonna be key for safe travel. We've also got some hydration tablets and adding a bottled water or some other container to hold water, such as a bladder or steel water bottle is a great option even if it's something that's already part of your everyday carry kit. Here is a utensil that I cannot recommend enough. I have one myself and use it every day. It is a titanium spork, and this is a pretty heavy duty industrial titanium spork from Meritac and Countycom. And you can see it's got a spoon on one end, a fork on the other, and then a slightly serrated edge here that can be used as an impromptu knife. Just a great simple tool, very lightweight titanium. It's gonna be impervious to corrosion and a great item to have. We've also got a single wall titanium capsule here with a press fit lid. And this is great if you wanna store something to keep dry as well as being a single wall construction, meaning that it can be heated to cook a small amount of food or boil water for purification. Water purification tablets or some sort of fast filtration system is a great option to have in your kit as well. We've also got here a, another set of cards for survival fishing and a nice innovative tool here, the Exotac Reel. And this is actually a spool of fishing line. And it essentially is a survival fishing tool. It also has an O-ring sealed waterproof compartment that houses the included hooks, bobbers, and weights. So a full fishing kit and a nice compact package here. And of course, for food and water preparation, you also need fire. Here we've got the Exotac Candleton. We've got the 
four hour nano. And this is great for just general lighting. And these come in a pack of three. We also have the larger emergency candle tin. This is the 30 hour slow burn. And then we also have a 16 hour, which is going to be a shorter burn time, but a higher heat. So that's gonna be great for heating water for purification and cooking. We've also got a little kit here in a VanQuest organizer. And these little organizers are great for a variety of kits from fire making to first aid and just general organization. We've got a standard small Bic lighter and that's just a great addition to have because they're inexpensive and relatively reliable. We've also got an XL fire rod from Exotech. So you can see this is a, about a quarter of an inch thick piece of ferro rod here for striking. We've got some black tape around the barrel of the canister here. And this is gonna be easy to burn for starting with damp wood. And then inside we've got a O-ring sealed waterproof container here with some cotton for tinder. So a great sort of all purpose kit there for fire starting. All you need is a striker and you're gonna be able to start a fire in pretty much any condition. And also from Maritech, we have a titanium match vault. This is gonna be water resistant, but not waterproof. And we've got strikers on either side that are also gonna be replaceable. Inside, we've got just a container here for standard size matches. And this is gonna be a great complimentary addition to your fire making kit. We've also got some miscellaneous tools in this pouch. We have a standard Maritech curved titanium pry tool and nail puller. Just a great multifunction tool to have. And an actual multi-tool here. This is the Leatherman Sidekick. Pretty simple, straightforward stainless steel construction. We've got spring-loaded pliers. We've got some tools on the interior. And then on the exterior, we've got a liner locking standard blade and a liner locking wood saw. So again, nice complimentary setup here and a compact tool with pliers that can come in handy for a variety of tasks. And another great handy little piece of kit from Exotech, we've got the rip spool. This is a repair kit kind of an all-purpose, all-in-one setup here. We've got orange anodized aluminum on this one, the nice lanyard just like the Fire Rod XL. We've got the same black tape on the exterior here, and this can be used for general patching purposes on a tent or waterproof hard shell. We've got sealed here at the top of the cap some high tinsel strength thread. And on the inside here, and unscrew this cap, you've got an O-ring sealed small compartment here with a heavy duty needle for any sewing repair. So great compact all purpose kit here for just general repair. Next up, we have another VanQuest organizer. This one is specifically designed for use as a med kit and comes in a nice high-vis red with gray trim. We've also got a Meritac Countycom med patch, further designating it as a med kit and just makes it very visible and obvious for fast access in emergency situations. So we'll go ahead and open this up and take a look at what is on the inside. So as you can see, there's plenty of room to build this out any way you like lots of elastic straps, and this allows you to customize and securely organize your specific med kit loadout. We also have an Adventure Med Kit's first aid kit, and this is just a great basic starting point. So it's got some basic wound care and first aid essentials in this nice water resistant hard case, and it's just a great EDC essential as well as an essential for an emergency bag. Next, we have some heavy duty 
EMT shears from Miratech with stainless steel blades and some glow-in-the-dark polymer handles. These are great to have for general utility and are just some nice heavy-duty scissors for a variety of purposes. A great addition to any kit, EDC or emergency, are some very fine tip tweezers. And these are solid titanium, again, from Meritac. And these have a very fine tip and are gonna be great for removing splinters as well as wound cleaning and care. And last but not least, just some miscellaneous essential items. We have a waterproof pouch from Night Eyes and this is great for any small electronics or important documents that you need waterproof and safe. We got some paracord, great all-purpose piece of equipment to have, and these come in a variety of colors, so you can go camo for discrete use, or we've got some high-vis options as well. We've got a couple of lighting tools here, on the far left, we've got the Olight i5T. This is a simple, straightforward, AA powered light with end click operation and just two output modes. So we've got a high and low. We've got a spiral milling on the body for good traction and a two way clip. So this can be clipped for use on a hat bill and also clipped in the pocket for carry. And for a hands-free lighting option, we have the Array 2 headlamp from Olight. So we've got a few different output modes on this, an angled head, and this one does have a rechargeable battery pack via micro USB. So those are just a few of our picks for essentials for your emergency bug out bag. Just a great place to start when building out your own specific kit. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below. Follow us on social media for updates on all new products, and comment below with your picks for a bug out bag essential.